In this movie, we're going to cover crystal options. Unlike report options, these options will carry throughout all your reports after you've made the change. Keep in mind this is going to be on a go forward basis. If you've already created a report and then changed the default options, it won't take effect until of course you start adding new fields or changing the report. By clicking on the file menu, scroll down to options. This brings up the options window and as you can see we have many tabs to work with. The first is kind of important, it's the layout tab. The layout tab defines what you see when you log on to Crystal or create a new report. By default, Crystal has chosen rulers, guidelines, tooltips, and show hidden sections. The rulers are what you see, we scroll over a little bit, here. The guidelines, if you click on the design tab, appear here. Notice how it makes a nice little grid both horizontally and vertically. Going back to our options, we also see our tooltips, which are those nice little pictures of the different functions that we have available to us. And notice this section is simply for the design view. We also have the almost identical options in the preview. You can also choose that pages start with full size, full width, fit page, and display group tree. You also have grid options, which is a snap to grid. And here you can determine the size of your snap to grid. Usually the default works best. In some cases where exact precision is needed, you can go all the way down to 0 0.01 inch grids. You also have your field options where you can show field names, insert detail for field headings, and insert name with group. It all kind of depends what you want to see. You can also remove these if you feel you don't need them at all. When laying out, I find it's helpful to have the rulers, guidelines, and tool tips chosen. Also, a snap to grid comes in handy because it helps me line up exactly with my grid lines. Let's go ahead and click on the database tab. The database tab helps you kind of see what's in your database in a way and how you relate to it and pull it onto your report in Crystal. For example, the tables and fields section, you get to show name, show the description, or show both. A lot of databases just have names, they don't really have descriptions, it depends. In some cases they have both, in which case you might want to show both. You can also choose to sort the tables alphabetically, or sort the fields alphabetically, or both. It really depends how you wish to work. In some cases it comes in handy if you work with certain fields and you can find them quicker. You also have a data explorer options here. This is where you get to see what's in your databases. For example, you obviously want to see your tables. You can pull them in. Views, which are kind of virtual tables if you will, and stored procedures, which take tables and create new result sets from them. You can also filter out table names, like all the tables that start with F or R or 001. It really kind of depends. You can also sort by the owner of the table if you need to specify them down. If you do choose these options, your views will be limited by that filter. You also have some advanced options down here. These you really need to be careful with. You really have to know your database server. You wouldn't want to check these and find out that you know your report because of all the functions you're asking it to perform on the server as opposed to your local PC might be too much for it to handle. Again, a lot of it's going to have to depend on the size of your database and how powerful it is. The default options for Crystal include using indexes on server for speed, making sure the database server is case insensitive, selecting distinct data for browsing, now, select distinct data for browsing is kind of important because when you're creating the report and we're filtering the report, when you hit that drop down box, you really don't want to see every March 1st that ever happened or every Houston that you see. You pretty much want to see one date or one office or one whatever you happen to be looking for. This is especially true if the case of the data is being repeated. If you see 27 Houstons, it really doesn't help you because Houston is more than enough if you choose it once. Other default options are verify on first refresh, meaning check the database once you hit the refresh button to make sure nothing's changed. Also, verify when database drivers upgraded. This could have happened without your knowledge and Crystal goes out and checks to make sure it's got the latest and greatest and there's no conflict. The last one is a Crystal default, which I've warned about before, automatic smart linking of tables. Again, Crystal links based on table and field name. This means that if your field names are not exactly identical throughout every single table in the database, your links could be faulty. I would recommend taking it off. But again, it really has to depend on the design of your database.